Naya. Welcome back to Naya Reads and Smiles. Good morning, everyone. Okay, it is currently Monday, and I have to start work in like 15, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try and like do an introduction quickly. Last night, I started reading Jackpot by Nick Stone, and hopefully, when you're watching this video, my book haul will be up already, which talks about like me getting this book. But yeah, this is Nick Stone's new book, and it comes out October 15th, and I don't know why it was just calling to me. The last book I finished was Circe. Um, you guys saw that whole vlog, and it was so good. I'm oddly in the mood for contemporary, which isn't a mood I am in often, so I'm kind of just like grabbing onto the energy. This book is so good. Good. I started it last night. I'm 100 pages in. It's under 300 pages, I believe. I think it's like 275 or something. This book we're following our main character, Rico, Rico Danger, and she works at a gas station. And at this gas station, she sells lottery tickets. So this book starts off, it's the night of Christmas Eve. She's working at the gas station and she ends up selling four or like three or four lottery tickets. And then a few days later, she finds out that there's actually two winning tickets. And one was for someone that purchased a ticket at her gas station but the person hasn't come forward to claim the money and it's like six million dollars. So there's this boy that goes to her school named Zan. Now he's kind of like the uber popular kid, super rich, super just of a completely different social and economic status than Rico. So she ends up teaming up with him because he has kind of a uh, reputation for hacking and is just really good with computer stuff. So she kind of recruits him to go through the security footage of the gas station she works at to try and find who this person is that has a winning lottery ticket. We kind of have this like a little bit of a love of hate friendship going on that kind of is slowly developing into like a romance. Anyways, it is so good and so fast paced and my goal is to finish it by hopefully Wednesday. Anyways, I have to start working now. For anyone who doesn't know, I work online or like I do um, sort of like admin work. Around 12 or 1ish, I plan on taking a short little lunch break and continuing to read on and then hopefully get at least to like page 200 by the end of the day. Yes, so far so good. Also, Nick Stone is like the sweetest person ever. She messaged me um, on Instagram after I hauled her book and she was just so sweet and she's like, please read my book. And I'm like, girl, I am on it. Hey guys. Okay, so I am officially on a lunch break. I have 30 minutes, which means I am going to read this book. Read hopefully maybe like another 20 pages. Can it be done? I believe so. They haven't found the lottery winner yet, but um, they're getting pretty close and the romance is is a Bruin. Also, our main character, Rico, is so funny and so relatable. Also, our main character is mixed, which is awesome because I just have like a really easy time putting myself in her shoes. She has curly hair problems, which like, girl, I can relate. I'm gonna read some more and I will update you guys in a little bit. five o'clock. I am done with work for the day. I'm so happy. I quickly changed. My little outfit of the day is just this simple little, um, this little $10 dress from H&M. Super cute scrunchie. I get asked about my scrunchies a lot and you guys, all of them are in size large from Bunch of Scrunch on Etsy. They're these two college girls and they make these amazing giant scrunchies that fit really thick like Afro textured hair. So yes, I would highly recommend that. I was originally gonna catch the train but it is so hot outside here in Colorado right now. Um, yeah, it's really hot. So I think I'm gonna catch an Uber downtown. I have a really exciting event coming up that I'm not allowed to talk about for like three months because I'm like under like a secret, super secret contract. I have really exciting projects coming up and I need to get some like more professional outfits for them. So yes, that is the plan for the rest of the day. My goal is to get back before it gets dark um, and continue reading. I'm face masking and drinking chamomile tea so that I can kind of just like decompress from the daily grind. Yes, I am currently, these are like the books that I'm currently, I'm gonna be reading this one next, Um, so just like ignore this one here. Currently have 100 pages left of Jackpot and this book is so good. Like Nick Stone, like her writing style is so 
accurate to how teens actually talk. Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, you know how some contemporary books, they'll kind of try and use teenage slang, but then it'll end up sounding just even more outdated or it'll end up just sounding really awkward and just not how um, teenagers actually converse. Nick Stone's writing is so spot on. The way our main character Rico talks is just so, like you feel like she's a real person and that's something that can be kind of hard to do when it comes to dialogue and is the reason why I'm turned off by a lot of contemporary books because it just doesn't feel real to me sometimes. And usually it's the language that's like a hit or miss. I am really enjoying this sort of love, hate, not really romance, but like romance friendship thing going on between our two main characters. My goal is to probably hopefully finish it tonight, but I'm actually going to finally for the first time in like three weeks catch up on YouTube videos. I know I promised to do booktube shout outs, but you guys, I have not had time at all to like just watch YouTube videos and catch up on YouTube videos. And so I didn't want to recommend any, any channels that I hadn't like watched videos on recently. So yes, I am dedicating an hour today to just catch up and check out some of the channels that you guys linked in my previous video. Also, do you guys like my cat robe? I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of sheer, which is why I'm only showing you from like here up. <laughs> um, but there is cats on it and it's so cute and I got it on sale for I think like seven dollars at Forever 21. Yes, and it's my favorite thing. <laughs> this won't fall. Ooh, stay. Okay, my hair is looking like crazy. Okay, let's just, let's fix the hair. Okay, hey guys. Okay, so I finished, where did the book go? I just, oh. okay, I had to go grab the book. I just finished reading Jackpot and it was so good. You guys, this might be one of my favorite contemporary books of all time. I think I only honestly have like five favorite contemporary books because I don't read them very often. This is the very first book I've ever read by Nick Stone. I know she wrote Dear Martin as well as Odd One Out, which I have on my shelf and I'm gonna pull off and start reading. This book was fantastic. And our two main characters, their relationship arc over the entire book is so just amazing. Like I was kind of, you know when you're like, kind of like smiling like a fool when you read it. You know when you read like just really cute lines or just really cute dialogue and you're just like mm, entire book like the dialogue between the characters was hilarious and heartwarming but also very um very deep and serious at some times this relationship kind of forms over the span of the book and our main character Rico she is from a lower income family um she's mixed which is awesome I think I talked about that earlier which I I didn't know until like halfway through the book and I just um it, it formed this deeper connection because I, I know the struggles or you know some of the things and the thoughts that go through your head the guy Zan that ends up becoming her friend and sort of like partner in crime as they go on this mission to find um, the lottery ticket. Um, he's white, he's the heir of this huge, huge company. He basically has no worries or struggles in life at all really, or at least that's what she thinks going into it. Throughout the entire book, she's constantly questioning whether or not like he actually likes her. Like, is this actually gonna work? Like he's too different. Like he's, he's from like a totally different world and grew up in a totally different way than I grew up and so she she doubts herself a lot and doubts the relationship a lot throughout the book and it's it's very sad to read but it's also extremely relatable and um you see her kind of work through that and finally like have those conversations with him um which some of them are really sweet and some of them I wanted to punch him in the face but anyways yeah I'm so happy I finished this book because I am about to leave Ooh, what is this ear situation okay we're just gonna yeah just I'm okay so right now um the reason why I have my ring light out is because I'm testing makeup looks. I'm about to fly to New York for three days and it is that thing I was talking about earlier in the week that I'm doing. I can't go into detail about what I'm doing but just know that it's the biggest opportunity that I've gotten um, as like a booktuber and I want to tell you guys so bad what I'm doing but just know that it's in New York and I've never been to New York so I'm also really kind of scared to, to be flying there for the first time and just doing this trip. So I'm so excited and you guys will find out what it is soon but I can't say anything yet so yes I'm packing now and um testing looks and just figuring out what I'm gonna do I think this is a good time to end the vlog so thank you guys so much for watching until next time keep reading and I will talk to you guys later bye